All right, on to coleslaw today. We're gonna make the dressing now, and I will combine it with the actual cabbage carrot mix tomorrow. I'm just making the dressing now to get it out of the way. So this is pretty quick. You're gonna take this is extra heavy mayonnaise. Got it from work. Works better. Less moisture and it's super thick. Pretty gross if you don't like mayonnaise, but awesome if you'll eat mayonnaise straight. It's pretty good. Let's see. Yeah. Awesome, as I said. So, we will first take out whatever the hell is in this freaking bowl. <sighs> Probably should have. Done that first. Let's just... Let's start all over. Okay. So. As I was saying... Cup made, this is two cups, pint container. So we're gonna take about half this. Again, this is not exact science, so. Oh yeah, listen to that plop. That's more than a half cup, that's okay. I may actually make the whole thing. It's double the recipe. We'll see in a moment. So we'll start with that. We're gonna do a tablespoon and a half of apple cider vinegar. Let's go with one. And I have, again, not an exact science here. About a tablespoon of honey, which we don't measure, we just go, uh, that looks like a tablespoon. Okay, nice. Celery seed, three quarters of a teaspoon. These are quarter teaspoons, so one, two, three. Ground mustard. I'm gonna go with about a quarter teaspoon of ground mustard. Good. A tablespoon of kosher salt. And about a half a tablespoon of fresh ground black pepper. We're going to whisk. Should be nice and creamy. By the way, this is a creamy coleslaw mix. I also recommend always mixing and tasting, mixing and tasting, just to see what you got. You can also make extra dressing because you don't know how much you're gonna need. So we yeah. Spot on good. What I think I'm going to do is actually make all this mayonnaise and dressing, and we just opt to not use all of it because I have no other use for all this mayonnaise. So I'm just going to redo everything I just did because I'm realizing now, the hell with it, make it all. tablespoon and a half of red wine vinegar. Not red wine vinegar, sorry, apple cider vinegar. A lot of recipes call for distilled vinegar. I think the apple cider vinegar adds a nice, nice different flavor. I'm gonna cut back on the sugar a little less than a tablespoon. I'm gonna go with like half. This is plenty sweet. I'm gonna add another. Celery seed was good, so one, two, the mustard though, I'm going to go with a little more mustard, like a heaping quarter teaspoon. And of course you need the salt. And we need the black pepper. Whisk the rest of this together and that'll be that. Now, this is for tomorrow, so I'm not combining it today. It'll make everything soggy. Also, if you, when combining your um, dressing with your coleslaw with the cabbage and carrot mix, um, 
like it may look like there's not much dressing on it but if it sits a couple hours a little bit of water is going to release and then you're going to see that there's plenty of dressing on it so and you can always leave extra dressing on the side if it needs it like as you when you're ready to serve it you always want to toss it right before you're going to serve it anyway okay we're looking good here Tastes good. Yep. That's really good. Alright. Perfect as is. We'll be back tomorrow to toss together and serve. Okay. It is Sunday morning. Time to finish this coleslaw. I've got old fashioned coleslaw mix. Two of them. No point in shredding your own stuff. It's way too much work. This stuff's just fine. But I'm going to add red cabbage to it just to make it look nice, which is always nice. So, I'm going to use that, and I'm going to shred a little bit of this. I always take off, like, the outer outer pieces. It's like self-cleaning. Bam, it's done. Oh, It's early. I am tired. All right. Good. Shred away. Not really shredding, I'm just sort of cutting. I like to take it and just cut thin strips. Not sure how much I'm gonna do. I mean we have we made a pint plus maybe like four ounces of dressing. Which is like twenty ounces. The pint is two cups, a cup is eight ounces. So I don't know what this is gonna cover, so we'll find out in a moment. It should be good though. Again, this is going to release a bit of liquid, so it'll stay moist even if it doesn't look like it's super coated right now once we mix it. Yeah, we'll go one more. This is literally just for... I don't think you really tell a difference in, in taste so much. It's just that it looks nicer with the red cabbage. Uh, and then we'll simply cross-cut the whole thing. I guess you could leave this as stringy or not as you like, but I think that's a good balance. Into the bowl. Get a big bowl if you can to mix it, which makes life easier. There we go. We'll leave the knife handy just in case we decide we need more color. Alright, onto the package. that around just to see the color. Oh yeah, that's gonna look purdy. Nice little chunks of red. We're okay. Actually I can go with a little more a little more red I think. Two more slices. That was ambitious, so it went that a little too thin. Right. We'll compensate by going too thick. One more time. This will be the Goldilocks cut, the just right cut. There we go. We'll go one, two, three. That ought to do it for the cabbage yeah nice color this is pretty dry stuff 
you want this as dry as possible, you could salt the cabbage first to like really dry it out. But uh, I ain't got time for that. This will be eaten way before. That's an issue. And we'll add in the dressing. Yes, yeah, smells like coleslaw. Goodness. This is going to take this whole pint, whether it wants it or not. Oh. I'm so close to not doing that. All right. There's that. Let's toss to combine. Container. I'm feeling like it's just yeah, this looks good. Yeah, we'll just add it all in. The hell is it? Drop this into the bowl. All right. Yeah, we're coated nicely. To be perfectly honest, the main ingredient in here that you're going to taste over everything else is the celery seed. That's what gives you that coleslaw taste, if, that, if that's a thing. Like, you can't tell about well, mayonnaise and celery seed. Like, if you took everything else out, mayonnaise and celery seed. I'm sure the sweetness of the honey is playing a role, but, like, the most prevalent thing is the celery seed. This looks great. It's actually also packed down pretty nicely, if you notice, because it was, like, up to here when we started. Yeah. It's still going to release liquid, but that's fine. Always toss before you serve, which we're going to do that later. I was making this earlier in the day. Save time later. We will taste at that point. Mm, after it's sat a while. But, mm, it is good. Okay, and that's coleslaw.